Hello YouTube. Today we will see how to diagnose and repair BLDC controller. This controller was one of the first I had. As you can see from the label, it can operate from 48 to 84 volts with maximum power output at 45 amps, which means about 30S to 23S battery pack, that is at 96.6 maximum input voltage. The first thing which we must to do is to separate the power wires, which are the three phase controller wires and the battery power wires. Next, we will need one multimeter. The multimeter selector must be on the continuity or diode symbol position. The first measurement we must make is between battery power wires. At this case, the battery power wires are fully shorted, with almost zero resistance. Next measurement is between battery power wire and first phase wire. As you can see, the resistance shows us a reasonable MOSFET resistance, 0.5. With the next phase wire, we see exactly the same indication which is also correct one. With next and last phase wire, we see shorting indication, which means that we have problem with the MOSFET of blue phase. Now, let's open the controller and find the problematic motor. As you can see, on aluminum heatsink are screwed all three phase MOSFETs. Five MOSFETs for each phase. And here our problem is clearly seen, that there is a short circuit between of MOSFETs. As you can see on the controller board, the only thing that separates the negative battery pole from the positive battery pole are these MOSFETs. So when we have shorted MOSFET, our battery barely fuses via large amount of current. Here we have our blue phase wire and 5 thirds MOSFETs.
As you can see, all MOSFETs are isolated with each other. They are not screwed directly on the aluminum bar. Behind each MOSFET there is insulation tape and plastic insulation on each screw. So you must be careful that they are always insulated and not touching each other. Now let's measure the terminal's MOSFET to see if it is problematic or not. The first move we must make is to short with our finger all three terminals to reset the gate voltage of MOSFET. As you can see all pins of MOSFET are shorted. This means that the MOSFET is damaged. We do the same process with the rest of the MOSFETs. From 5 MOSFETs, only one is in working condition. Because I don't have exactly the same MOSFET in my lab, I will put similar one, but with lower current. Just to show how can someone repair his controller. This new MOSFET is at 100 volt and 57 amps drag current. Now I will show you how to properly check a MOSFET. But first we must find the pins. The first pin is a gate, the second is a drain and last one is source. After the step with the pins we place the multimeter selector in the position of the diode or continuity. Very important step before measuring anything is to short with our finger all three pins of MOSFET to remove any memory from the gate pin. Next we must touch the negative terminal of multimeter to the source pin and with positive terminal the drain pin. The screen must show infinity resistance. After that the positive terminal of the multimeter must go to gate pin of the MOSFET to activate the gate. Next and last one the positive terminal of multimeter must go back to drain pin. There the screen must show low resistance. With low resistance between drain and source like that we know that the door is open to current flow and the MOSFET working properly. Note that the resistance between the source and drain depends on type of MOSFET, is not always the same.
Now let's check it again after replacing the MOSFETs. Now as you can see the indications of the phases between the negative and positive pole of the battery are almost the same and the blue phase wire is not shorted anymore. Next test is to see how much consumption it makes after the repair. As you can see the consumption is too low, so the controller until now goes very good. Remains only to test it in action with hub motor. <laughs> 